Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. This is a bit of a Sunday bonus video. It's a beautiful spring day and we've finally got the uh, the big hit ready for a test drive. If this is uh, not a bike you're familiar with, this is using the, the high voltage um, upgrade kit with the BBSHD, uh, Lecky bling ring up at the front. Um, the back, we've got kind of a unique one speed with this um, chain ring adapter from, like, from a main chain ring size. So it fits on the rear with a part that um, I had machined. So we're looking to test that on this bike as well. Uh, so this is a 52 volt setup. The battery is not the final configuration. This is just my test pack that we've got for the moment. And um, we're not sure if we're gonna go with the, the underneath style or a split pack on the top of the tube yet. So yeah, this is the, the first test, test ride or rides with this bike. Um, kind of exciting, always good to see a new BBS HD build come to life, especially with, with the high voltage kit. So a bit of, a bit of riding footage um, and I'll do a full breakdown of this whole build um, later. It'll also be interesting to see how it does stacked up against the CYC Photon. Um, I don't think I'll be able to keep up. Anyway, um, we'll go for a bit of a ride and uh, yeah, enjoy. First off here, I should apologize. Um, normally with the high voltage upgraded bikes, I get some nice stats showing the kind of power that they're pulling. Unfortunately, there's currently a bug in the app that I use, and that means that the data I'm recording isn't saving. Um, anyway, this is just a quick shakedown ride on the usual test run I do, which gives a pretty good variety of hills. The drivetrain still needs a little bit of tuning because I was noticing a little bit of chain skip from time to time. But overall, it's really, really smooth to ride this bike. There's plenty of power, even with the smaller 24 inch wheels. And this is just at 52 volts right now. I'm not actually quite sure if, uh, if my mate's gonna want to upgrade to the maximum of 72 volts that you get with our kits. Um, speeds already, according to the display, are up to 60 kilometers an hour. And I think with the 72 volts, that, that over 80 should be, should be pretty easy to get. I mean, it, essentially, at this point, with this bike, you have something that outperforms the stocks are on that was made for significantly less money and can go places that a Suron simply can't. Um, I'm going to do a much more in-depth breakdown on this build once we get some more riding done and finish off the last few parts. Uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, but otherwise, uh, enjoy the rest of the ride. Cheers.
Thank you.